Here is the definitive answer to the following question. How do you create commercials? First, you need gear. Whatever gear you have right now is good enough, as long as it includes the following components. A lazy Susan, or otherwise called an electronic turntable. You need it for all the delicious spinning shots you can imagine, such as from the likes of Austin Paul or Joey Palmros. I invested $30 into mine, and it can rotate up to 10 kilos. You need light. At least one that can create a soft light output. In this case, the bigger is the better. If you can, get a second light to create an even more exciting look with accents and colors. A nifty 50 lens for your camera, to get a razor thin depth of field and a nice compressed background, as well as bokeh if that's your thing. There are plenty of options from a lot of different manufacturers, such as Pear Gear, Viltrox, Mikey and many more that offer great glass for cheap prices. Different surfaces for different looks in your final video. Get yourself some nice looking wood, some glossy black surface, and then one more for maximum efficiency in creating different looks. And then lastly, a colored backdrop in either black, blue or green to get a consistent color throughout the shot, which makes it easier to edit in post afterwards. As a cheaper alternative, go into your next creative supply store, get yourself some black architecture paper and a piece of tape and build a backdrop from that. So no more excuses, let's take all of that and put it into practice. I'm building up a basic shot to demonstrate how easy it is to create good results in the end. Step 1. Find a surface you can put the Lazy Susan on, then place the camera on the same level. Step 2. Place the surface of your choice on top of the Lazy Susan. In my case, I'm using the shiny black surface for no particular reason. Step 3. Get the product of your choice, place it down in the middle of the Lazy Susan to create a perfect rotation in the end. Step 4. Use the backdrop of your choice and put it down behind the product with enough distance so that the color does not spill onto the product. Step 5. Your main light needs to be slightly angled to one side of your product, best in front of your product to avoid spill onto your backdrop. If you can, add your second light from the opposite side either just to create a highlight or add some color to create a different mood. Step 6. Hit record. Let your product spin 2 to 3 full rotations. Step 7. Click on the subscribe button and write down the following word into the comments to let me know that you've watched the video this far. Apocalypse. Step 8. Load up your editing program of your choice. In my case, I'm down with the Resolve Studio version, but there's also a free version that is perfectly usable. Step 9. Throw down your shot footage, color grade it to your liking, and then... Step 10. Have fun. Create different shots of the same footage you recorded with the power of animation. If you don't know how to do that, here are a few shots. The punch in. Two keyframes. One at the beginning, one at the end. Both on the scale. 100 to 150%. Boom! The basic foundation has been learned. The rotator. Drop down four keyframes. Two at the beginning and two at the end. On the scale as well as the rotation axis. But this time, let's begin actually zoomed in and then get back to our original shot. Double boom, this looks so much better. The fly through. This time we take the shot we made before and we will render it out. Then we will open up After Effects, click on the Roto Brush tool, click on your shot footage. Let Roto Brush do its magic. If needed, refine the edge that has been created by clicking the Alt button and then, when done, you'll click on the Space button. Rotobrush will render through the timeline and when it's done, click the freeze button and you are done. Add another background or even more of your shot footage for maximum effect. So, here's to you and all the future commercials you will create. My name was Leech, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'm off writing the next scripts. Have a great day, until then, goodbye.